Good idea, Carlos. But it will depend on the site's drainage. Yes, no, maybe. Okay, sounds good. You too. Bye. Hey, Sarah. It's about time. We're just about to order. Hey, Raj. Every week you order the same thing. It doesn't matter when Sarah arrives. I'm going to bring her her favorite dish. Hi, everyone. Mmm, thanks, Marcus. That sounds perfect. Sorry I'm late. I got a call just as I was getting ready to leave. Ugh, I hate when that happens. When I get a call at the end of the day after the students have left, it's an administrator, and it's not important. But Yulia, if you get a call, it's probably a surgeon with a big emergency. You better take the call. You're right, John. First, the surgeon will demand a lab report. And when I gently say I emailed it hours earlier, the surgeon asks for help to open the email. Seriously? Do I look like IT? Well, I was actually happy to take this call. Guess who it was? Hmm. You work at City Hall, so I will guess... The mayor? No, it was Carlos Coordinatix, the head of the IMCT, the Interministerial Commission on Transport, advisor to the president. Um, what about? I'm working on the new transport hub for Easton. Oh yeah, I saw that on the news, a bus station. The president cares about a bus station? Enough to call you? What's the big deal? It's more than a bus station. It's buses and rail and vehicle share and deliveries. But the reason Carlos called me today was the housing. Housing? You want people to live in the bus station? Not in the station, near the station. Close enough to walk or cycle from home to the station, so it's easy to get around. Finally, the government is encouraging active mobility. Very sustainable, plus it's easy to get your exercise. Sounds good. I never find time to go to the gym. The president takes this sustainability stuff seriously. Yes, she does. And they're so ambitious. Here's our order. Uh, thanks, Marcus. The new transport hub will link us here in Easton in the eastern province with the National Airport and the capital city with a high-speed rail service. And we'll also have a rail service to the other regional capitals. We'll have bus services to smaller communities that can't be reached by rail, like here, where my parents are from. The transport hub will link to Easton's local public transport, the trams and city buses. It'll be right at the heart of the whole network of paths throughout the city, so you can walk or cycle safely wherever you like. The transport hub will have space for vehicle sharing services and a shopping center, a supermarket, entertainment, shops and restaurants, and nice affordable housing nearby, close to everything. They're even talking about linking up with our neighboring countries, Boisinistan and Algaria, to make international transport connections right to Easton. Call it what you like, but it's still a bus station. And no one I know ever takes the bus. I love my car. Buses are noisy and dirty and smelly. No one will want to live near a station. It'll be loud and dirty. The old bus station is awful. It's dark and dingy and it's not safe. My grandmother doesn't drive, so when she visits her sisters in the village, she takes a bus. My father waits at the station with her to make sure she's safe. I avoid going there. A lot of people don't want to drive or can't drive or shouldn't have to drive themselves to get to the places they want to go. The commission is making transport attractive and sustainable, so people prefer to leave their car at home or even decide they don't need to own a car. Don't listen to her, my dear. Daddy loves you. You know, reducing the number of cars will reduce our country's carbon emissions and our demand for fossil fuels. I mean, we won't have to import so much petrol. Ah, uh, you greenies. I like to spend carbon. Aren't diamonds made from carbon? Carbon equals wealth. The more carbon we use, the better. There should be more cars and more roads to show the world our country's prosperity. Uh, you don't mean that, Raj. Driving cars and trucks contributes to pollution. I mean, not just air pollution, but also soil and water pollution. 
If we have fewer cars on the road, we'll have cleaner air. Maybe you have a point there, my friend. If there are fewer cars on the road, it would mean that I could drive faster. I could spend less time in my car being stuck in traffic. Less congestion, more speed for me. Can you imagine? Formula One. Yeah, less time stuck in traffic would be super. And with fewer cars, there'd be less traffic noise too. Noise pollution causes mental and physical health problems. The Interministerial Commission is also keen to have fewer cars on the road. The Ministry of Health did a bunch of modeling and presented the results to the Commission. They say with fewer cars on the road, there will be fewer crashes, fewer injuries, and fewer deaths. I can believe it. Less drunk driving, less speeding, and fewer bad drivers. Before they opened the toll road last year, every week I would borrow my sister's car and drive 90 minutes each way, if there was no traffic, to spend the day training at the big hospital in the capital. And every week when I drove home, I would see at least one crash along the side of the road. Cars hit other cars, or hit pedestrians, or both. Sarah, why is the Ministry of Health getting involved with a bus station? It's integrated planning. All of the ministries are involved. Tourism, health, sport, youth, planning, education, environment, all of them. Easton's transport hub is just one part of a whole 10-year plan to move the country towards sustainable transport. National, regional, local, they're all involved. Long before they started building things, they began working to unite the legal framework to create a safe, affordable, efficient, and secure transport system. Sounds complicated. Yes, well, it is complex. All the ministries developed the plan together and agreed to it. And now they're implementing it together. They're all very committed. I have just one question about this transport hub. Why would anyone want to go to Voicenistan? It's just a bunch of sand. You're wrong, my friend. It's more than a bunch of sand. It's Estesia's number one trading partner. Really? They have an ocean port. We don't. The Commission wants to make transport with neighboring countries easier so that things and people can move more quickly. Soon, the coast will be just 90 minutes away, direct from the transport hub. Aha, I get it now. If people can travel easily between Voininistan and Edija, they'll come visit our beautiful mountains. And we'll go visit their beaches. Ka-ching! My next startup will be in tourism. They have beaches? With surfing? Who's paying for the integrated transport? Are my taxes going up? A private company is operating the toll roads under a public service contract to the government with strong quality requirements. The high-speed rail to the airport will also be a private provider, and companies are already lining up. Once the rail opens, it'll take just 25 minutes to get from Easton Central Station to the National Airport. 25 minutes? Now it takes way over an hour. Then you still have to park and find your way to the terminal and hope nothing happens to your car while you're away. It'll be easier soon, and you can leave your car at home. Or don't even own a car, like me. I cycle most of the time. If I need to go further, I take the train or the bus. I sit back, relax, listen to my music, and then I arrive calm and relaxed. One of my colleagues commutes to work on the train most days. He reads all his emails before he even arrives at the office. I don't own a car, and I have more money to spend on QT. QT? Quality time. Like a day out on the beach in Voice Cinestan with your friends. I can do better than that. I bet you that when Sarah's new station is finished, you'll all love it. And you, Raj, you'll leave your car at home. Never. It'll never happen. Good idea, John. Let's make a bet. Our city's new transport hub will be accessible, affordable, safe, secure, and environmentally friendly. How's it going to be green? Solar panels will be installed on the roof of the station. They'll generate all the power the station needs. The station will be carbon neutral. Over the next few months, the Interministerial Commission considered all the angles. What can big businesses offer? What do small businesses need? Who should live near the new station? What sort of housing will be viable and appealing? How many net jobs will be created? Will they be green? What will best serve the people of Estigia now and in the future? Finally, in January 2019, we broke ground on the new station. The site was close to the central business district and already integrated into the city's growing network of cycle and walking paths. 
we were able to adapt and reuse the facades of some old buildings for the new transport hub. Construction took nearly a year. Sharona virus? Isn't that a song? It's coronavirus, Raj. How can you make jokes? This could be big. Don't you follow the news? Markets are up, and that's all the news I care about. Hey there, Sarah. Working late again? How's my new bus station coming? Most of the station is complete and already in operation. The official opening will be in early February. All right. We're still on for our day at the beach, all on sustainable transport. We'll go right after the station opens. Hey, you know, that reminds me. When I was a girl, my grandparents still lived in their village. We didn't have a car, and my father used to take my sister and me on the bus to visit them every spring. We had such fun on the journey. What's that you called it, John? TQ? It's QT. What do you call me? What's QT? A hot sauce? <laughs> QT, it's quality time. Cutie. I like it. Finally, it was finished. The new transport hub opened with a big celebration. The president attended, and of course, Carlos Coordinatix, and several of the ministers from the commission. The mayor of Easton cut the ribbon. All of us who worked so hard were very proud. Carlos and I gave a tour to the president and the interministerial commission. Here's the tourist bureau with all the information about Eastern Province. Here's the waiting area, or what we call the relaxation area. You can see the solar panels through the glass ceiling here in the atrium. The panels power all the lighting and electricity in the station. Throughout the transport hub are local businesses, like this salon. Some receive seed funding from the Regional Ministry of Planning. I'm sure you have noticed that there are hardly any steps in the whole station. Flat surfaces and ramps with gentle slopes and some lifts. Anyone using a wheelchair can move around. Plus, there are textures on the floor to assist those with visual impairments. And like all the transport stations in Estigia, the ticket offices are accessible to people with reduced mobility. The waiting rooms have air conditioning and heat. The toilets and platforms are accessible. I'm terribly sorry to interrupt the tour, but I've just received an urgent call. Madam President, I'm afraid you're needed at the Ministry of Health, right away. Hey Sarah, I saw you on TV, with the President. Wow, I know all the famous people. Thanks, Marcus. We had to end the VIP tour of the station a little early, but now we can continue the informal celebrations here with our visitors from the capital. Welcome to Easton. Thank you. Sarah told me to ask for the Francesco special. Of course. It's her favorite. Oh, look. Something else to celebrate. What's that? Remember those mobile air quality sensors that we have going around the city of Estigia? Yes, they measure greenhouse gases like nitrous oxide and carbon dioxide. Exactly. Estonia's air quality is already improving. 15% reduction as compared to the same day last year. The transport hub has only been open a few months. It doesn't take long. People prefer to use sustainable transport. The mayor is proud of the mixed income housing we built near the station. The affordable price portion of housing filled quickly, and the market price portion is earning more than the developer expected. That'll be good for the next election. Here you go. Francesco specials all around. It smells delicious. We have nearly two hours before our train back to the capital. We'll have plenty of time for dessert. 
That weekend, my friends and I took the train direct from East Central Station to the coast in Boisenistan. Won't we have to stop at the border for a few hours of paperwork? By the time we get to the beach, it'll be dark and time to come home. With our passports, we'll go through immigration and customs right here. No need to stop again at the border. The checks and verifications are all integrated to minimize the delays and keep things moving. It was cold that day, but such fun. Getting there on the train was more than half the fun. Sarah won the bet hands down. Just when everything was going so well. COVID-19 arrived in Estigia. To slow transmission of the virus, we all tried to stay home, wear masks, and wash our hands a lot. And the economy? Oh my. Everything changed. <sighs> The new transport hub was modified to keep people safe. Transportation is essential. Not everyone can work from home. There were some good changes, too. CO2 emissions went down, way down. The sky is beautiful these days. I don't miss my commute one bit, but I'm not sure how much longer I can stand to work from home. It's crowded. At least you're working. I'm teaching on video is so difficult. There's no way the students will be prepared for the end of the year exams. Just hang on a little longer. Summer's almost here. Remember our day at the beach? It seems like so long ago. I'd love to go back now that it's warmer. Me too, but we all need to stay home and avoid non-essential travel. Is the transport hub still open? Definitely. The company that manages the transport hub adjusted the waiting area so the seats are two meters apart. The shops adjusted their spaces too. When weather permits, they open the panels in the atrium roof for more ventilation and sunlight. It's almost like being outside. Yeah, that's the station. But what about riding inside a bus or a train? They've also been adapted to encourage physical distancing. Not everyone can telework. Lots of people still have to go to their workplace, and they rely on transport to get there. Hey, I have an idea for how we can have another day out and do it safely. Sarah, over here. Good morning. Well, you're right on time. This was a great idea. I took the tram right from the end of my street, just like you told me. Drank my coffee, checked my phone. No stress. And just a few people all sitting far apart. All good. Then I found the bike share dock just around the corner. I'm ready. Where's John? He's usually early. Hey there. It's about time. I would have been here earlier, but look what I almost ran into. Think they'll want to use the electric cycles? Let's hope not. They'll have trouble punching the key code with their hooves. What's that camera doing? There's CCTV throughout the station. It's very safe. How's my hair? Do I have a proper helmet head hairdo? You're ready for the Tour de France, Raj. Follow me. We're meeting Ulia at the food court. Hey, what's this? Marcus. Welcome to my newest enterprise. Cutie. Quality time. How's business? We closed the indoor dining at the main restaurant. Here we're doing takeaway meals and contactless payment. I'm getting a lot of business from people who live in the apartments over there. They pass by on their way home from work. Here, take a menu. Take a mask, too. Where's Yulia? Uh, she just texted she can't join us. Her grandmother doesn't feel well. I hope everything's all right, John. Send her your wildlife photo. She'll love it. Why don't we drop a QT snack box off at Yulia's? Good idea. Hey, be careful while you're cycling, okay? Did you see this news? Even though people are driving much less now and total road deaths have fallen significantly, traffic fatalities per kilometer traveled are up. Now that doesn't make sense. All the bad drivers are still going out in our cars, and they're still bad drivers. Boom! Crash! The good drivers are more cautious, and they're staying home. Or maybe the good drivers are riding bikes. 
If I'd known it was going to be so easy to get around town on the trams and the paths, I would have bought a high-end bike instead of a low-end car. A few weeks of cycling and walking and I'll be fit like this guy. Alright people, let's move. All the fresh air is going to his head.